So God may say, I called you to start a business. Why didn't you start the business? And you say, well, I tried. I went to the bank and the bank turned me down. No, I called you to start the business. Why didn't you go to another bank? Walt Disney went to 301 banks before someone believed in his dream to build Disneyland. Why didn't you start the business? That business was going to finance the gospel with millions of dollars. God may say, I called you to write a book. Why didn't you write the book? And you say, well, nobody wanted the manuscript and the, the publisher t rejected me. Yeah, but I called you to write that book. You think about people like Dr. Seuss. He was rejected by 27 publishers before someone believed in the foot book. God's going to hold you accountable for the book he put in your heart. And he may say that book was going to impact 50,000 people. Why didn't you write the book? Or I called you to open a daycare center, an orphanage, a dance studio, a restaurant, a church. Why didn't you do it? And you say, well, I thought I was too old now. Time's going by years ago. I just thought I was too old. Do you know Duncan Hines was 72 years old when he started his cake mixes? Smith Wigglesworth was in his 50s when he started ministry. Colonel Sanders was 66 when he started Kentucky Fried Chicken. God is going to hold you accountable for what you were called to do.